what up everybody it's Stefan here from mod to fame and we are back with another video man this is the last car that i bought and i haven't been able to buy another car since due to the crazy prices in the used car market anyway let's jump into it let's go now look guys this is my 2017 dodge charger rt it started its life as a regular dodge charger rt but since i've fully customized it wide bodied it lowered it uh full custom lighting including top bottom what you see right now the underneath of the car lit up i mean i did so much to this car in a very short period of time but you know what that means that means that i'm ready for another one i'm ready for a different and new car you guys know all about my twin turbo hellcat that's going to be on the channel for good because that is a staple that car is going nowhere so i've been looking at cars and i'm like what do i want to buy what do i want to buy next because i don't know if you know but i'm giving this one away this one you can win on the channel right now by visiting moddefane.com because after i'm done with the build what else am i gonna do with it right so okay now i'm shopping i'm looking i'm like is it time for me to get that dream car that i always wanted is it my time you know i'm making a good bit more money at work now YouTube is doing pretty good. Is it my time? Is now the time? So I'm going to take you guys today on a journey of what I've been doing in order to look at cars and car prices. And what we're going to talk about today is how out of whack car prices are compared to where they were just two years ago. Come on. Oh, so y'all didn't know the RT gets down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, uh, I have some fun with this car, man, you know. Almost 400 horsepower, still almost 400 horsepower, almost 400 foot pounds of torque. It's still almost 400 foot pounds of torque. So, yeah, I, I have a good time kicking this thing around and it will kick around. It's a lot of fun. But where am I taking you? Right now, I'm taking you home um, because I need my computer. I want to give you out a reel, right? How I search for cars. Now, let's talk about what's been going on over the last two years. Over the last two years, we've been dealing with coronavirus. Now, what does that have to do with? car prices new use everything so um with the coronavirus we began what was called the chip shortage so the chip shortage was simply that the manufacturers couldn't get their hands on these microchips these microchips are little computers that run all of the modules in these cars these cars run off of tons and tons of modules for an example this car alone has outside of the pcm and tcm has 40 modules in it all these little computers that run and they, they all run using these little microprocessing chips so when there was a chip shortage and they couldn't get those chips uh, manufacturers couldn't complete their vehicles so cars sat at the plant at the port for months and months and months and where they weren't going were to dealerships so it really decreased the amount of inventory and there's an old school thing called supply and demand oh you know shit that you know i was about to get it a little bit man these cars sound so good anyway so there's a thing called supply and demand right and uh whenever there's more demand than there is supply car prices go up and then that's what happened with car prices we were used to going in and negotiating with dealers and having the power as the buyer because they had so much supply you could just go to the next deal up the street and get the same car now that changed completely and now people are almost begging dealerships hey can you please sell me this car over the next guy and on average cars are going at sticker price if not in some cases with desirable cars anything with a v8 especially in the mopar world some are going over sticker that's crazy considering where we just were so what does that leave us that leaves us now to search for used cars and that's where i'm at i've been i've been looking and searching for used cars heavily and i want to show you what i've been doing to try to search and some of the cars i've been looking at and tell you I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do because these cars are expensive. All right, y'all, so welcome to my humble abode. Sitting at home right now, and I'm about to start one of the searches that I usually do. So I'll pull that up on the screen as I search, but I usually start out using uh, autotempest.com. The reason why is because on autotempest, it pulls all the searches into one place. So they're saying is all the cars in one search. I'm gonna show that to you now, a typical search that I do. 
All right, you ready? All right, here we go. So as of right now, we can look at that Dodge Charger RT that's outside. Uh, I got that car pretty much at the beginning, the hype of the car price is going up. So let's see if they're going up or if they've gone down since I purchased that car. So let's look at that Dodge. Where we? Where are we? We're gonna look at that Charger. Um, we'll use a zip that is, let's use this one. And let's search within 300 miles of that zip. Now, I like to narrow it down to things that make sense. So for me, the good thing is uh, Auto Tempest kind of gives me, if I want to search for a manual, I can search for a manual. But I'm going to look at 27, 2016 through 2020, let's say. And then I'm going to set a max price. I don't want to spend no more than $32,000, let's say. And ba 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 ba. You can choose rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, all that good stuff. But what I look for automatically is the number of cylinders because I only want an eight cylinder. So now with that, I can go ahead and begin my search. And the good thing is it's pulling from all of these sites right here that you see. A lot of people use this one. Definitely a lot of people use this one, this one, so on and so forth. Uh, it pulls it all into one place, so it makes it a lot easier. Um, looking at this 17 right now, Jesus Christ, 2017 RT with 42,000 miles, 29,995. That's pretty up there with 100,000 miles. With 100,000 miles. Look at that. 20 grand for this RT. Look at this. 2019, 31 grand. 2016, 30 grand. It seems to be that with anything under... 70,000 miles, these RTs seem to be clocking in around $30,000. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Those numbers are ridiculous. Look at this. 2017, 30,000. This is more than what I paid for the RT that I got. I, I'll, I'll keep it a buck with you guys. Um, this is probably about $4,000 more than what I paid just, uh, what was that? earlier this year so these prices are still going up on cars tremendously now mine of course i put a lot of money into it but still look at that all right cool so i have that car now that's for pretty much what is the same car that's crazy because this car window sticker would probably be about thirty four thousand dollars so that means that a 2017 we're in 2022 five years old and it's still selling for that much this market is crazy now me i have the luxury to say you know what nah i'm just going to choose to wait and wait till the market bounces back but what if you have to buy a car today you don't have a choice um but some of the cars i've been looking at for me personally like to add to the channel or to just have in my own collection is the hot car of all hot cars. <laughs> I'm even scared to look. I'll be honest with y'all, because I know it's gonna be crazy. There it is. And I'm looking at 2020 through 2021. And that's still eight cylinders, but I don't need that because they're all eight cylinders. So I'll take that out and let's search. Let's see what we find. I'm scared to look because I looked at this not that long ago. Look at that. Oh, man. I must have did something wrong, guys. Oh, that's what I did wrong. I left in the max price $32,000. So that's why none showed up. Let's try that again. Oh, my God. Look at this, $140,000? Oh my gosh. This car sticker price had to be, is this even a, is it a convertible? Is it a convertible? Even if it is a convertible, that doesn't matter. 
140, that has to be like 20 grand over sticker price. Where are we going? Where are we going? And this right here is a perfect example of what I mean when I say car prices. Car prices are absolutely out of control. Um, do yourself a favor. Go to autotempest.com. Do a search for the car that you potentially would want to get. Or if you're in a market, how do you get around this? You got to do your due diligence. You got to do deep searches. You got to like drill down to um, maybe areas that are further away from you. Um, maybe you take options you really don't want or colors maybe you got to be open but your best bet is definitely going to be on a site like this because at least it pulls in all the different searches from all the different websites with all the different prices so you can see that all at one place so just now off the of camera i did another search just now just to see for because i was considering let me add maybe a red eye again to the channel and i was looking and even those prices are crazy, but this one is actually a pretty good deal at 77. I must say, it's not, not too bad at all. But uh, that being said, prices are just way out of whack, man. And I'll be honest, I don't know when they're coming down, but just do your best. Uh, do your due diligence, do your searches. If you have to buy a car, uh, don't rush into anything. Try to do as much negotiating as you can online before going into the store because right now these dealers have the upper hand on you because they have something you need and there isn't a lot of it out there no matter what the car is i don't care if it's a honda accord these dealers have the upper hand and that's just across the board well anyway guys that was a quick one i just wanted to share a little bit of insight of what's going on in the market also share a little insight with you of the cause that i've been looking at myself but anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. We are officially 30 days out from the giveaway of Big Perp. So get in, get you something like this. That's all I got for you, man. We out, we out.